Um, use computer. Work. Miracle. So I feel like that's gonna be best. Let's go to the database. I go to bed and fall asleep. Why do you always bring that sword with you? You know the pen is mightier than the sword. I suppose that's true. No one actually uses a sword for real fighting these days, I answer. I am in a room sitting at a small table with a decorated game board. A middle-aged man sits across from me. I can't make out his face. No one? Magic is more useful, after all. Even in the outside world, they don't use swords. Haha, ha. I suppose you are right, your highness, but I was speaking metaphorically. I don't understand. Metaphorically? I am so sorry, your highness. I mean that sometimes words are more effective than using violence. Of course, I think talking is really strong. Talking stops fighting. When I say, stop fighting, the people who are fighting, stop fighting. That is because you are a prince. Your position is one that holds power. But you must not rely on your position alone. You must use words that would make, that would eat work even if you were a peasant. Other people call you a peasant, yet even these strong knights listen to you. Can you teach me? Ha ha, that is why we pl are playing this game now. I will build in that spot. He puts a building in his own that would have put me in the lead. No, don't build in that spot, I need it. You don't even get any points from building there. Ah, but that is exactly why I'm building there. It prevents you from getting those points. But that's mean. That is how strategy works. <laughs> that's mean, no, don't build there. I don't want you to build there. I'm prince, I say no. Fuck you, man. <laughs> everyone expects everyone to act like this. Real life is complicated. But I don't like it. Aw, oh, grow the fuck up. <laughs> Remember, this is just a game. It is like exercising your mind. So when you have to do this in real life, you'll be ready. Fine, I'll play like that too. Ah, but if you try to stop me from making points, you'll never make any points. Morning. It's Saturday. You know what? I have no unread mail, so let's work a little bit. The game studios. Let's optimize a little more. It's the afternoon. Let's go outside. Let's go back to the park. Let's read basic weightlifting. You learn basic resistance training too. I finished reading the entire book. Park reading in the park is so relaxing. My mind still my mind starts to drift away. Last seed. The upcoming magical fighter, Shining Longblade, is bringing new fr bringing fresh new magic in our competitions. I hear the announcer shout, "This is her last battle in the intermediate league, so let's all give her a round of applause." Finally, I can move on to the elite league. I've worked so hard. I have to keep going. I have to keep winning. I can finally wield level A magic. This is the first outsider to master magic for the Elite League. My head is starting to hurt. Let's call someone. Let's call Claire. Hello, Ryu? Hey, Claire. Want to hang out sometime? Sure thing. How about the bubble tea at the usual spot? Let's meet up tomorrow. Let's, uh... Since we're doing that, let's use the bookshelf. Shop online. Books. Let's do advanced programming, use computer, shop online, and let's get more books. Uh, how do you make your website? There we go. Let's use computer, let's work, Miracle Game Studios, and let's keep going with the optimization. I go to bed and fall asleep. Use my computer, work again, Miracle Game Studios. Let's optimize this shit. I have a hundred total. Sweet. Wow, I'm making like nothing on Miracle Game Studios. But that will be fine, because later I will. I'm sure of it. I arrive at the bubble tea shop a few minutes late. I'm a few minutes early. Claire isn't here yet, and at least I have time to think of what ways from separating her from her birth friend. I feel kind of guilty tricking her coming here, thinking it's just a casual meeting. Hey, Ryu. Looks like you got here before I did. <laughs> I'm not always late, you know. I guess not. 
Have you ordered yet? No, I wanted to wait for you. Cool, so what do you want? Let's get some strawberry with green apple jelly. We order our drinks quickly and find a table. It looks like Claire is ready to take another stab at me. Saryu, what do you think of Rena? You know she likes you. Yeah, I know, but I just don't have the same feelings for her as she does for me. Hmm, I suppose you have a point, but that's what dates are for. You'll get to know her better and your feelings for her will start to grow. I thought dates were for developing a romantic relationship. If I go out with her, won't that just be leading her on? See, you really do care for her, otherwise you wouldn't be so concerned about her feelings. That's really sweet of you. You'd be surprised at how much being around you really makes her happy. Just spend time with her. I tried that already, but Rena's so worried about Claire, our relationship devolved even solved even before it had a chance. But right now, I should probably set that aside and just be good-natured. I won't gain anything by arguing with her. Thanks, Claire. You're always worrying about me. I smile at her, trying to hide my discomfort. But truthfully, I worry about you too. About me? Why? This is going to be hard. Let's ask about it. Maybe you should just shouldn't ask about it first. I don't want to seem like I'm just jumping to conclusions. Claire, I don't know how to ask you this, but what is it? I heard from Rena that you had an abusive boyfriend. I don't know where she heard that, but we we're both really worried about you. Oh. Well, you know, Rena, she always puts others before herself. It's really unhealthy for her own well-being. She's going to end up breaking herself if she keeps going on like this. Yeah, she's not too nice for her own good. Like a certain someone sent in front of me. You really think so? Of course, that's why you two should be together. You seem to have a bit of trouble taking care of yourselves, but no problem taking care of others. If you two were to become a couple, then you'd be able to take care of one another. It makes logical sense, Claire, but you do know that love isn't logical. <laughs> but this isn't about me or Rena. It's about you. We really are worried. I've never seen Rena look so terrified before. Something is up. It would take much it would take more than just a rumor to set her off. Well, she has been acting strange lately. I guess maybe I should resolve one thing at a time then. So you're planning on riding in here like a knight in shining armor to rescue me if I was really in danger? Haha, <laughs> it's nothing like that. You're a very strong girl, Claire. I know that. After all, you always push me to do things with my own strength. It kind of makes me feel happy. Does that surprise you? Anyway, my point is that I know I'm not in charge of your life. I'm glad you understand. But we are friends. That means you should have come to me whenever you need help. That's what friends are for, right? We should enjoy our early tea drinks before while well, they're still cold. Ugh, she keeps changing the subject on me. Why won't Claire just give me a straight answer for once? I probably shouldn't push the issue any further today. It's clear that she doesn't want to talk about it. God damn it, Claire! Just tell us! For fuck's sake! <sighs> Fucking Claire. I don't feel too well. My head feels really light and it's hard to concentrate. I hope I'm not getting sick. I guess it's better if I rest for a while. Maybe my head will stop buzzing. I stumble over bed, but I trip before I get there. Ugh, that was weird. Now I'm starting to see flashes of light. I must really be coming down with something after all. Drag myself into bed and close my eyes tightly, trying to block out a strange hum that's building in the back of my mind. Ugh, what is going- why isn't it going away? Even with my eyes shut, I keep seeing these bright flashes of light. I cover my eyes with my hands and attempt to block the light out. Ugh, my eyes, hands are burning. I open my eyes to see both of my hands glowing softly. What? I shut my eyes tight and open them again. Yep, still glowing. Jesus Christ. We have magical powers. We have magical powers. And it's just glowing hands. This is unexpected. I gingerly touch the touch. Hot! The temperature of my hand is definitely scalding hot. But my hands don't actually feel any hotter than usual. I wiggle my fingers back and forth, looking for some sort of explanation. The lights from the fingers flicker around the room. I can't believe I'm talking this calmly. I guess after Alex's stories about average guys with incredible magical powers, this seems almost natural. I wave my hands back and forth, drawing a symbol in the air like one I saw in Alex's favorite shows. Ha! Huh. Like this will even work. I don't know if it's just my imagination or not, but the glowing in my hands seem to be getting stronger. I close my eyes and attempt to concentrate all the warmth of my body into my hands. Let's see if I can control this. Wow, I didn't expect that to actually work. My hands are still glowing softly, but the buzzing sound in my head starts uh, fading away. I can feel my heart racing. My hands pulse with light with each heartbeat. I trace the symbols in the air again. I don't know how this happens, but at least I can kind of control it. My head begins to ache again, and the glowing in my hands begin to fade. Hmm. Looks like I'm at my limit for today. 
I lie down in my bed and stare at the wall, trying to figure out what's going on. You have glowing hands. You have magic. Why am I... Why are you so calm about it? <laughs> I'd be freaking out. Yeah, that are trying to learn how to do better stuff. Why on earth do spells from an anime series work in real life? Are there other spells in manga and anime that will work? I drift off to sleep, still puzzling off over these questions. I spent some time trying... I spent some time alone trying to figure out all the weird magic stuff that shows up out of nowhere. You learned Dispel. What? What? Let's work a little bit. Miracle Game Studios. Let's keep optimization. I go to bed and fall asleep. Afternoon. Alright guys, that's our, I think I'm going to end it for today. We will be back with more Fading Hearts and seeing where the hell this freaking takes us because this has been awesome. Um, it's really starting to get good. It's really, really starting to get good and I cannot wait to see where it goes. But right now I have something else to do so I have to go and I will talk to everybody later. Bye!